Fallout 76 is a massive game with many hidden features that players can spend thousands of hours in game and still not find. So in today's video, we are going over five things you may not have known about in Fallout 76. Starting off this video, if you've completed the main quest, Secrets Revealed, you can then head over to the Wayward. Once here, you then can head upstairs to find one of the best dressed men in all of Appalachia. We have Smiley, the gold bullion merchant. Oh, Smiley, where you at, my good sir? There you are. Here, if you are hurting for any gobolian whatsoever, you can purchase out Smiley's stock once a week. Show me what you get, Smiley. And as you can see, we can spend a thousand caps to get 50 gobolian, 2,000 caps to get a hundred gobolian, 3,000 caps to get 150 gobolian, 4,000 caps to get 200 gobolian, 5,000 caps to get 250 gobolian, and 6,000 caps to get 300 gobolian. And again, his stock resets every Monday, so if you are in need gobolian, come to Smiley. The next trick on our list that you may not have known about is the best way to get yourself into sticky situations and also out of it. Now what this trick is used for is a way for you to get inside and outside of locked doors with ease just by teleporting through the door so you don't need any perks whatsoever. Now let me just walk up to the door real quick. Then what you're going to do is go into photo mode. Now this may not work every single time so it may take a couple times but it's all practice. The more you practice the better you get at it. Then zoom into your backpack and then bada beam bada boom. You just walked through a wall. Look at that. And the door is still shut. And you can do this with locked doors or unlocked doors. But that is how you teleport through doors. Our next hidden feature on the list is located at the White Springs Resort. Once you've made your way here, you're then going to want to head on inside. Once we've made our way inside, we then want to head upstairs. And once you get upstairs, then you'll take a left. And here to our left, we have a dining area. And this is one of the coolest parts in all of Fault 76, in my opinion. Now, let me just figure out which table I want to eat at because, you know, today I'm hungry. And today I want to just sit down, relax, maybe have a nice coffee or so, you know. So we'll just sit here. We'll relax for a minute. Oh, why, hello, Mr. Waiter. Would you like to take my order? And as you can see, we can order a bunch of different things from this waiter, just like a normal restaurant. It does cost us caps and all, but hey, this is a really, really cool feature in my opinion. For this next hidden feature, not everyone is going to be able to do it, sadly, because it requires Fallout first. If you have Fallout first, you then can transfer your items between your characters. As you can see, we're on my girl character real quick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop, let's say, I'll just drop this bloody Gatling laser right on the ground right here. And this is in my private private world. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to my main character real quick. And don't take too long on this because if you do, who knows if you're going to lose your stuff or if your world's going to reset. That's the only bad thing. I've never had it reset on me. I've done this ever since I've had Fallout first and I've never lost an item. But I'm not saying you won't lose an item, sadly. I don't know what's going to happen or what, but as this loads in and as you can see on the ground and looky here, we have my Gatling laser that I just dropped. How fantastic is that? That is the only way you can transfer items between your character by yourself. Next up, we are going to be making our way back to the White Springs Resort. Once you've made your way on inside this time, you're then going to head downstairs to where all the vendor bots are. And if you didn't know down here already, there's a giant shopping center. There's goods, there's medicine, there's outfits, but what we're here for are rare plans. So if you head all the way down and to our left, we have Studio 58. And here we have a lovely robot that goes by the name Pendleton. How you doing, Pendleton? He's doing very great, he says. But this right here is where you can get a ton of rare plants for your camp right off the bat. And as you can see, they're actually super duper cheap. And I don't have all of them, which I do need to get the rest of these bad boys. But right here, you can get a ton of plants for your camp. I also made a video over the best in-game armors in Fallout 76. So if you want to check that video out, I'll link it in the screen right now. You see that? That is the best armor sets in Fallout 76. <laughs> 